Hello, in this video I will explain how you can fix this error that you can get uh, in Next.js 13 when you execute npm run build command. So the error says, it's not an error actually, it is, it is a warning message but it is very dangerous warning message. And the message says, entire page de-opted into client side rendering. The reason why this is a dangerous message is because, uh, so if I start this uh, server, and if I go to the website, what happens is that, so if I visit this web page, what happens is that you will see this, there is a next error. And then after a fraction of seconds, the HTML page is rendered. Basically what is happening here is that the client side rendering is happening. And uh, because of that, we don't get the benefits of uh, Next.js framework. So main reason why we use Next.js is because uh, we want to get that uh, benefits of SEO and uh, server side rendering. So Basically, server is going to send us the full HTML of the page. But if you look at the network tab, and I'm going to just refresh the page once again, and I'll show you what is happening in the page source. So if I go to the local host, you will see that in the response, you can see that there is a next error. And then after a fraction of seconds, uh, that uh, client side rendering happens, and then this error goes away. But still, it is a very uh, a terrible error. So basically, why that error was coming is because I was using this use search params, and that is coming from next slash navigation. So if you use this particular function in your component, you will get these kinds of errors. And to fix that, what you have to do is that you have to wrap that component. So I was using that particular function in the scroll top component. So all you have to do is that you have to go to the layout or wherever you are using that component and then you have to wrap it with the uh, React Suspense. Okay, like that. Like that and then you have to give the fallback is equal to any message you want to give like loading or something or you can also give it empty as well and then save it so after that what happens is that uh, if you again uh, do npm run build then that error will not be coming and then the ssr will work there will not be any kinds of error and in the html source as well or in if you go to the network tab you will not see that next error in the html source that's it that's how you can fix it